First, let's separate all the wiring harnesses and mounts and mark each unit with the room it's going to go in. Today, we're installing the Nest Protect Smart Smoke and Carbon Monoxide Detectors. First, you need to remove the old detectors and mounting plates. You don't really need to unscrew the screws all the way, just enough to turn the plate and get it off. Once you have the plate off, it's time to pull the wire caps out of the electrical box to disconnect the old wiring harness. Your old wiring harness should have three wires, one black wire, one white wire, and a red wire. We're not going to be using the red wire with the Nest Protects, so disconnect the harness from the red wire or wires, wire cap them back together, and tuck them back up into the electrical box. Next, you're going to attach the black wire from the Nest Harness to the black wire or wires in the electrical box, and the white wire from the Nest Harness to the white wire or wires in the electrical box. It may look like all my wires are white here, but I swear these are black, they just have a little bit of overspray white paint on them. Twist the wires together well, and then screw on the wire cap. Make it really tight, and pull on the wires to make sure you have a really good connection. Do the same for the white wire. This one's a little long, so we're going to trim it. We want to make sure that it fits fully inside the wire cap. So we have seven of these total to do. We're showing you this one in real time, just so you can get an idea of how long it should take you. If you want to skip forward, check out the chapters list and timestamps in the description below. Once the wiring harness is all connected, push your wire caps back up into the electrical box and put your new nest plate onto the screws. There's four different sizes to accommodate four different brands of electrical boxes. The plate only goes one way, but it's pretty self-explanatory which way it goes so the screws fit on. Tighten it securely, but do not over-tighten the screws. This one's all set. Now we have six more. Now that all the wiring harnesses and mounting plates are attached, we're going to set up our Nest Protects. With your app on your iPhone, your iPad, your laptop, or your Android, open up your account. Click Add Device, Add Nest Protect, and follow the directions. You're going to scan the QR code on one of the Nest Protects. It's going to guide you through the process. You're going to name it, choose what room it's going to go in. You can even write a custom name for the room. Now you do want to practice a little patience. Right now it's connecting with one of the existing ones that we've already set up. You can see the blue ring as it communicates with the server. It's now communicating with the app, and it's going to tell us any second now to pull out the battery tab on the new Nest Protect. Hi. Hola. Press the button now for English. Ready. Press to test. So we've already set up most of these, but we're setting this one up real time just so you have an idea of how long it should take you. It is a bit of a tedious process, and if you haven't done it before, you might think you did something wrong or the system is hanging up. I can tell you right now, the system is not hanging up. It just takes some time and requires patience. During this process, the Nest devices are communicating with each other, going through your router, communicating with the Nest server, which communicates with your app. They also are communicating with each other through Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. You definitely want to set them up on a table like this before you mount them in their respective rooms. The thing is, even if you're too far from your Wi-Fi router for one of your devices, they can run off series with Connected. each other and help each other make a solid connection to the network. Once they're all connected, wait for the app to finish up, 
Again, patience is key. All connected, and now the app is finishing up. It's finished, and since we're done with all of them, we're gonna click Next. Next, we can change a few of the settings for individual rooms. These are for the pathway lights that turn on at night. They're motion sensitive. So we'll turn off the one in the bedroom, but the ones in the hallways, we're gonna leave on. Now the app is prompting us for installation help. We don't really need that, so we're just gonna click Already Installed. And now it might be time to take your Nest Protects to their respective rooms, connect them to the wiring harnesses, and screw them onto their mounts. After that, you'll want to do a sound test and a safety check. You can do it by pressing the button on one of the Nest Protects, or you can do it directly from the app. Don't worry if one or more still have a funky blue light, it's just updating with the server. Now this house also has Nest Learning thermostats. Now these thermostats were set up by the builder, so we can't connect them to the account. We have to reset it like this. Again, we're showing you one of the three devices, real time, so you get an idea how long it takes. Again, patience is going to be key. Now, if you live in a house that has an HVAC system, central air conditioner, central heat, having the Nest Protect connected to your Nest thermostats in the same account is extremely important, and here's why. If you have a modern HVAC system, which stands for heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, it usually works through a system of air ducts, vents, and an air handler that pulls in air from one or more places in your house, heats or cools the air, and then redistributes it to all the rooms in your house. Now here is why that's so important to know. Ah, oh, dude, stop tapping your fingers, man. Ah, oh, that's better, thanks. I mean, I know patience is a virtue and you gotta wait a long time for these thermostats to reset and set up, but we all gotta be patient together, right? So where was I? Oh, the air handler in your HVAC system. The important thing to understand here is if you were to have a smoldering fire, smoke, or even a carbon monoxide leak, your HVAC system and the air handler could suck up the nauseous gas and redistribute it throughout your house, which could cause an additional hazard However, the Nest Protect works in unison with the Nest thermostat. During a smoke or carbon monoxide event, the system will turn off the fan to your HVAC immediately, thus slowing down the spread of smoke or carbon monoxide throughout your house. Well, it looks like the thermostat reset and now it's time to add it to the account. So just like with the Nest Protects, we're gonna scan the QR code and let the app do its thing. Again, we're gonna show you this setup in real time so you have an idea on what to expect and how long it should take you. Patience is key. This one just doesn't take as long as the other ones though. Thank God. During this part of the setup, you can use either the QR code or an entry key. We're gonna use the entry key right now because I have a phone in one hand and I don't wanna pick up the laptop with the other. I should mention that you really do wanna have a fully charged battery when you start this process, whether you're using an iPad or a phone. And in case I forgot to mention, you really do need to have some patience to set up the Nest products. We're just waiting for this to finish up and do its thing within the app. The thermostat is communicating with the server, with the HVAC, with the other Nest devices, and with your app. Let us know in the comments section if you have enough patience to set up the Nest, if you've had somebody else to exercise their patience, or if you just threw them out the window. We'd love to know. 
So I edited out just a few seconds of video for the Wi-Fi password. Now this Nest thermostat is connecting to the Wi-Fi using the password. Just a little bit more waiting, but it doesn't take that much longer. And we're connected to the account. That's our third and final one. It's just finishing up now. Once it's finished, we'll be on our way and ready to mount our detectors and test out the whole system. Okay, so we've added it to the account. We've named it. It's the third and final thermostat in our account here. And we're just about ready to move on. All right, so looking at the account here, we have the Nest Protects. Not all of them are showing online right now, but that's okay. Don't forget, we haven't plugged them in yet. We haven't mounted them yet. But once they are mounted to the power and we do a setup test, they're all gonna connect. So at this point, we're gonna plug in all the Nest Protects and screw them into the mount. Now the mount just has three tabs and you do about a quarter turn to lock it in place. It may take a little practice, but once you get it, you'll understand. I feel like I've been good and so patient today. I deserve a nice steak after work. Maybe a beer. Mmm, steak. Okay, well, let's put this one on. And we got five more. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward. We got all these things mounted. Some of these ceilings are higher than the other. Here's a close up showing you how long it really takes. It's not a big deal. And hopefully, since you can control these from your app for the next 10 years, you won't ever have to take these down, not even if there's a false alarm. As an added benefit, if any of these do malfunction, if the batteries happen to die, or any other problem like that, the smart app will let Brad you know. in the kitchen. Press to test. This is only a test. The alarm will sound. It's going to be loud. The test starts in five seconds. Press to cancel. Testing smoke. Testing carbon monoxide. You can initiate the test from one of the smoke detectors or from the app. And this is what it sounds like in real time. Now you just need to check your app, confirming that everything really does look good and that everything is indeed connected.